What's up everyone? I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm going to be installing the Sumer Performance side markers for my car. Now, I got the clear white ones with the daytime running lights and the sequential uh, turn signals as well. So we're going to have to be wiring them up. There are videos out there on how to wire it up, but since this is a 2020 car, it actually doesn't come with a bulb for the uh, turn signal. It's all just one plug. And the video really doesn't explain on how to do that. So I thought I would do that for you guys and explain how to do it with this type of style headlight. I think they're called touring style headlights. Now, honestly, I just need these side markers right here. And then to uh, replace this trimming or not to replace it, wrap this black. And I think I will be at a good state for the uh, base mods on this car. Not necessarily mods, but I guess, I guess I'll be done with like my first type of stage and how I wanna get this car like looking sleek and everything and looking just really good overall. So let's get to it. I think this is going to be the final thing before I'm done with, uh, or another step in order for me to get to the car where I want. One thing I really want on this car is to have a fully sequential setup. So I have the rear uh, reflectors. I'll put a link right here to that video. And now I'm installing the side markers. All I'm going to need is then the headlights and the tail lights. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and follow along with the build. Now before we get started, let's take a look and see what's inside the box. It comes with a set of instructions, which is actually very helpful. Um, just a piece of paper. And then we have the actual side markers right here. We have side marker one, and we also have the second uh, side marker right here. It doesn't want to come out. But uh, those are the two side markers. And then it comes with the wires you need to actually tap into the uh, turn signal because that is not pre-wired in the car. So you're gonna have to do that. And then it also comes with two T-taps, which we'll use later to actually connect it. And this is really helpful. So in order to take the side marker out right here, there's actually going to be a one screw that you're going to need to unscrew. That screw should be right here. After you have removed the screw, you wanna go ahead and peel back the fender or the, sorry, the wheel liner just a little bit. And there should be like a clip kind of style thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the bottom one as well so I have a little bit more room to work with. Once you have both screws out, there's going to be a little tab right here that you're gonna push against and then you're gonna pull this out at the same time. So I'm gonna push against that and then pull it out. And there you go. Be gentle with when you pull it out. It shouldn't take too much force. Once you're with that, there's going to be a bulb which you're gonna to wanna to disconnect. So there should be right here. Push down on the tab for the uh, for the clip. Try not to scratch your scratch your paint. And push down on that. There we go. Our side marker's removed. It's that easy. Now that we have that out, we're gonna come around and actually pop our hood because we're going to be needing to access the uh, the headlights. So, where is the latch? Uh, latch is right, no, no, no. On this car, it's a little weird. The latch is a little more to the side than in the center. So push it like that. Open the hood up. Give me a sec to put the rod in. And now, this wire I've already unplugged. But the way you do that is it's going to be clipped in here, this way, right? It's going to be clipped in here this way. And then there's going to be this tab right here. You see this tab? You're gonna push down on that, it's gonna be this way. Push down on this tab and then pull it out. And this should disconnect. What's different on the models before 2020 for the SI is instead of having this one wire unit, there were actually two. So you could just unplug the, uh, you can unplug the turn signal and just tap into that. But over here, it's all just one connector. So we actually have to find out which wire is which. So I'm gonna do that now and test it and then let you guys know. So I'm done testing it and the way I tested it, I hooked it up to a voltmeter and I essentially tested each one, turned on the turn signal and see which one gave a signal. So on the back, if you look, there's one side that's going to have four wires going into it and then there's another side that's going to only have three wires going into it. Now the one that has three wires going into it, right? Three wires right there, one, two, three. The middle wire is going to be the one. For me, it's green, but I think for other people it might be different. So I'm gonna go ahead and work with that green wire right there. Now you're going to want to grab one of these wires that comes in the box. It's not cut to size, so you're going to have to cut it, but you want to feed it so this end right here, the plugging end, comes out through here, and the other end is on there, and then we can cut it to size.
Now, before I cut it to length, I got it through. I got it through this hole, and there is a little bit of the wire sticking out up here. I was trying to get it through down there somewhere. There's an actually axis, but in order to do that, you're gonna have to take the front bumper and do this. So I'm gonna wire it properly once I get an actual tail light, and once I have to take the front bumper off to do that, then I'm gonna wire it properly. But for now, this will work. Before I actually cut it to length, because once you cut it, you can't go back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and strip some of this wire, this right here, but back. So I can actually take, actually access this green wire right here, back here, and that way I can tap into it. Or what I might even do that's a better option is I'm just going to leave this wire here and tape it along this wire as well, and then just tap it maybe right here. That way I don't have to actually cut this and I don't lose this connect. I don't lose this, uh, this uh, mount right here. And I think that'll work. So let me go ahead and do that. Peel this back and tap it in. So I peeled back this wire right here. And uh, now I can finally go ahead and... Uh, hold on, let me show you. So I went ahead and peeled back that wire right there. So now I have access to that green wire. Um, and now I'm going to cut this red wire right about probably right here. And I also left a little bit of slack there just in case anything goes wrong. So I'm going to cut that and then go ahead and T-tap into this. from this orange one we're gonna take the bulb out and then once we have the bulb we're gonna grab our new side marker and we're gonna pull the bulb out of here we don't need the bulb anymore and then we're gonna go ahead and stick this side into the bulb slot it's supposed to be working I believe Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So what you need to remember is when you are actually connecting this, a lot of people, I read a review online and said this wire was really loose. If this wire is loose, if you tug on it and this whole thing doesn't move, then you didn't do it right. There's going to be two notches on this T-tap. You want to make sure it's on the second notch and it's engaged and it is the green wire. I can confirm that it is the third wire, the middle one on the, the middle wire on the one that has three wires. And then now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side, exact same thing. you have it the sumo performance side markers are installed let's see how they look uh, so that's daytime running light that is honestly very bright compared to the actual stock headlight that you see and then if when you unlock it it just switches over to sequential that is honestly very very cool I love how it looks now we have the side markers being sequential oh my god look at that side markers are now sequential and now the rear is also a little sequential as well um, the next mod I think I'm going to be doing is the trimming right here. Black it out completely. And uh, yeah, then it's time to order some more parts. Honestly, that was not as hard of an install as I thought it would be. I would like to make the wiring a little cleaner when I was wiring it up because I just ran it right through and over. And I would like to go under, but I wasn't able to because in order to go under, you have to take this, uh, you have to take the headlight out and the bumper off. So maybe when I get the intercooler, not gonna, not gonna, just a little bit of spoiler, but maybe when I get the intercooler, I will be doing that and I'll wire it up a lot nicer. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Now, if this video helped, please make sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions at all on how to install this or any questions during installation, make sure to comment down below. I answer all my comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.